Good morning, folks. Today I wanted to share a video about this little project. There was a question in the forums about whether or not you could build something that looked like this. And this is a counter. Um, not quite sure what its purpose was, but it looked like an interesting and challenging um, project to build. The person said uh, in the in the post they just had a picture of something like this and said, could you make this work inside of a Google Sheet? So here's how this works. Um, when you click the plus button, um, it increments the number for each one of the different colors, as you can see. And if you were to click the minus number, it would decrement those numbers. As you might see here, it's um, working with an app script. And then icing on the cake, they wanted to have a reset button and that would return everything back to zero. So let's take a peek at how this works. First of all, this is just a, a, a small sheet that's been reduced down to three columns and it looks like uh, 16 rows. The whole thing is made black. These cells are widened out and, you know, turned red with the, with the P in it. And this is the number zero, of course, put in here. And then these other pieces that are the buttons, let me right click, because if you were to click directly on it, um, it will increment. And let me just double click on that once I have it selected. This is a drawing. So that's a drawing that just created this with, you know, several different drawing tools. There is a, a, a shape tool that, um, that looked like this. And so we were able to, to use that shape tool and then insert, you know, the circle and so forth. So once you, once you um, create those, um, basically I was able to create that, copy this one, paste it into a new drawing and change the color. And then on these sides, I just flipped them um, and then, you know, put in the minus instead of the plus. And then if uh, this all runs with apps, app script, so let's see what the scripts look like. Pretty simple script, increment cell B3. We get the active sheet, we get the cell B3, we get its current value. And if it's a number, we increase the value of one. Otherwise, we set the value to one. So if for some reason, let's check what happens if, if we actually wrote a letter in there. Uh, let's see, if I wrote a, a letter in there and then I increment this, notice it's going to change that to a one. So what it's doing is it doesn't matter what is in there, it's, it's going to still work. That's what that part of the script is. Once this script was written, it was fairly simple to copy it, paste it, and just change the name of the function and which range. So that was, there's five of those ranges there. The decrement is simply same exact thing with a minus one. Again, had to copy and paste the B3, the B3, the B6, the B6, and so forth. And then finally at the bottom reset cells, it was get the sheet get these ranges of B3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and set their values of put down to zero. So pretty simple script. And now um, it answers the question for the user. Yes, you can do an, a, uh, use a Google Sheet to build a counter for whatever purpose that it was for. And the only downside of this is it's app script based. You kind of have to wait for the scripts to finish. Um, I can't, I can't click, you know, two in a row. I mean, you can, but there is a bit of a lag. And let's see if I get that down to zero. Um, no, and so that bit of a lag is is a little bit of an issue. Um, and yeah, so I had clicked that twice. So that would be, I would say, the um, only. And see, we got an error by clicking too fast. If I were to do it more slowly and wait till the um, script finishes, um, and again, sometimes with the app script, you, you could get the script running a little bit slow. 
But in most other cases, it's, that, I think we might have an issue here anyway. So we'll check that out. But I wanted to share, uh, this is a, um, a quick way to build something like this. Didn't take too long to put together.